called Stephen Mugoya, a councillor at Lugazim the municipality. I'm very worried that he, our government is evicting people. Evicting people, they have, they have no other alternative. Eh? So I, I kindly beg the president, the ministers, the other DCs, that he, disorganizing people, where, where are we going to take them? The land belongs to Kurubia, not in Lerwe. I call upon people eh, to pull up your socks and we, we fight for our lives. Otherwise, we have no other alternative. The president said that we are going to be compensating these people, regardless of whether they were hoodwinked and they may be bought land that was supposed to be for Uganda Rail Corporation. We are not against the Uganda Rail Corporation development because even the parliament, we want it. But these people, they constructed, they were sold to land maybe, and knowingly. So they construct their houses, and then without warning, without prior warning, Uganda Rail Corporation demolishing, using the police. So for us as leaders, we are not given, for example, notice. These people are not informed. For example, someone went to Kampala to work, someone went to school, then all of a sudden he comes and then finds his house demolished without prior warning. At the end of the day, that person may claim that he thinks we are stolen. Who is accountable? They are survival. Constructing such houses, they are trying to get a living, and again you are demolishing their houses. At the end of the day, we are accountable to Ugandans. And whoever is leading this, Uganda is not ending today, even tomorrow. We shall look for you and explain. Uh, yes, as police, we've, uh, as police, we are here to provide the security. And this operation has been led by SSP, we are Rohanga Titus. Uh, he's the head of uh, Uganda Railway Corporation. As I talk now, the situation is uh, still normal and calm.